They did pause for the time being. Analyze this draft. Shadow Fiend, uh, I was really excited to start seeing Shadow Fiend after he's kind of just running at them with the Seder and Puppy saying hello. Of course, the Seder is a nice group to have here. That, that the health Liara. region is actually pretty out. That is actually really good here. I mean, suddenly, suddenly Wind One is full HP again. Yeah. He's only eaten one tango so far, so you're right. The VR are really helping to get him back up to full life, even. And they're going to start applying some uh, some damage to the tower, possibly. I guess for now, they're just more so focused on the last hits, of course. Out comes Shockwave, and they're going in, aren't they? On a Razor. Cold Embrace. They heal him back up, though, and now this dive. Secret probably regretting it pretty quickly. Nia's just still thinking some more damage. Another Hadouken. He's going to drain the damage of one. Gets plenty of himself in return. Nyx Assassin gets the Pearl Strike stun on him, though, and first blood is drawn. Mid one gets credit. He tried to maximize the efficiency on that as much as possible. And now he has another creep, which he can go to mid with. I don't know. I mean, it, it, does, it does cost Secret a little bit of time. Are they gonna get yeah. this kill? Yeah, right. yeah, well, I was gonna bring this up. Middle one, by the way, that's gonna be turn kill at least, but now Nisha's also in trouble. The Caustic Finale on and the Pearl Strike hits, and the Absol were credit for the kill onto the Razor. The action just continues. Who do you think is, is favored currently this early game? Obviously, the mid lane seems like it's going pretty well. Well, we say that, but it. Oh, uh, he should be dead. Dude, He's coming in. Penitence, man. Amping so much damage. Weaver, by the way, no boost build. He goes right into the Dragon Lance. Now he has the Diffusal queued up. Oh, that's lane. Dead Wyvern? He's, uh, he's dead. Oh. Like Chen, big part of that, of course. Alert. The armlet's almost finished. So if, if you're King Lance, oh, well, he's pointing middle lane. That's actually a big fight breaking out Splinter Blast, Puppy. He's slowing down. The opening was on top of that. Heavy slowing up, Puppy. Oh. Using the hand of God, gonna survive for the time being. Those is the center after the side puppy, though just out of range of the final attack, but the Infest Nuke from Exotic Deer will finish the job, so they do take out Chen when it's all Mid, you know, just, just push out these waves, and again, force the rotation, Exotic Deer has to walk back to defend this tower, and what does Mid one do? He immediately TPs Mid, knows, alright, Exotic Deer's top, 3 tier one Bottom, he goes down actually, over here you see Ace is trying to finish off the job on Elisa, but the Cold Embrace will barely, I'm guessing Shadow Fiend, yeah, Shadow Fiend picks it up. That'll be over the Weaver, what do you think? Makes sense. Weaver's more difficult to kill. Much more difficult to kill than the SF. If they catch out the SF, they can burst him down much quicker than the Weaver, I think. Um, because Weaver, of course, does have the time naps, or Kingwin would have to burst him down perfectly and have to time everything perfectly. SF, you can wear him down bit by bit, or speaking of wearing somebody down. Pathos, <laughs> so dead. Repel's not gonna do much. There. Nothing. Basically, nothing. Oh, they see Yapso blinking into the tree line. Can they get to him though? They can't. No, they can't. That's the actually Arctic so sad. Is on cooldown, so even at level four, he just used it recently. Elisa, and he's now in trouble. Cold Embrace wouldn't even save him there, and so he goes down. Penitence up on a Castor, and he's dead as well. And it, three kills to now for Secret, just like that, one after the other. So they, they pinged him out. You mentioned they saw the Sand King, but they just couldn't get to him, and it kind of it felt like it made Kingwin chase a little bit too much there. Reaction came out of secret. Yeah, I think the idea from Kingwin was, you know, we just see the we saw the Weaver and the Lash and the not the Lash, the the Shadow Fiend top. Let's just try and go for a kill bottom. A lot of fights. You mentioned the vehicle that they have with the Nyx Assassin, that's why you kind of pick up this combo if anything too. Yeah, really haven't used a Winch's Curse. We'll stop that rider right here, but on tonight still dropping the races. The Requiem to finish the job. Lots of Mana falling. Never mind. Hand of God, and he's sent back to base. The save from Puppy yet again. They kill the Omni Knight, and they're probably going to look to keep on going. I mean, Fox has already ported back to the middle lane. He's going to be joining the team shortly. 40 seconds, Omni Knight's dead for And they blew the big ultimate. The one ultimate which could have potentially given Kingwin at least one kill. Nyx is dead. Nisha. Obviously, the A just did it was reclaimed right there, so Midwest has to be a little more careful, but he just got his BKP. Exotic Deer. Rawr. <laughs> Runs at them with rage, and they kind of just... Just stare at him like, yeah, what are you gonna do about it? And now the rage is on cooldown. Blank Epi. There you go, jumping on a life stealer. Has the rage coming up right now. The cold embrace will save him initially. Cats over the left to be a tie back. Exotic here pops the rage. He's going in, but he's still even dropping. Double kill for Ace in the back lens. He invests into the creep. The send back on Shadow Fiend. 
He infests the Alpha Wolf, he's running away with his exotic gear. Pops out on today, trying to help him. The repel though, the auto attacks him. It's too strong. The Guardian Angel will save him, however. So exotic gear. Yeah, at least makes it back to the fountain. That's the good news for King Wind. And the abilities are back up. They have Winter's Curse again. But at the same time, it's not like the Secret really invested a lot of abilities either. I mean, Epicenter is down great, but they have Lasso up again. They reset really quick. This is the big thing, yeah. And in fact, there you go. Lasso right on Kia. Winter's Curse doesn't even have the chance to use. He's dead for 30. They are going to lock down Weaver, actually, and they finally will kill him, so... That's that's a start at a comeback for King Man. That's 826 bonus gold for Exotic Tier on top of that. There, uh, this SF is so difficult to bring down. Like Lasso. X. Dense. Spike here. Basically, initially. By a little bit of time for Kimmy's coming. Nice. Yeah, just got on Exotic Tier. That Guardian Angel used the Winter's Curse also. Activated him on a Bat Rider. Mechanism. EO Requiem. Going out for mid one. Nobody's dying from it. Ace is sitting in the front line. He's dropping half life. Any time lapse in time. He's dying right here. The episode is up for the Aster. With the stun, they do kill Weaver, however. The Aster goes down. Exotic Tier will fall himself. It's just Omni Knight all of a sudden alive on the side of King when Heroes are exploding left and right. And it does favor Secret in the end, numbers wise. But buyback for Life Stealer. And he's coming back in here. Secret, but again, it, it was, I feel like we've said it over and over, but it's. What can they do against them? They can't stop this. In fact, Nyx Assassin is ultimately going to get caught there. Now he's dead for 50. So the good option. Okay, so I think that's the case here for Secret Bata. Bata's positioning is so good. That this... Well, like, that's the best target, because now what can they do? If <laughs> they go for him, El is about dead, he will die. An auto attack later. Ace initially got caught, but he time-lapsed away. And now he's resetting, going back in with Nisha. He has that Nisha speed a distraction, if anything. Setting up the Aftor Epicenter, buyback on a Nyx Assassin, but now Nisha, that BKB is going to be wearing off shortly. And he's going to probably die as a result of the Eye of the Sword's not going to help him there. Exotic Gear has to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. He does not have a buyback, remember. The stun not going to hit him in one due to the BKB. Buyback on a Razor. Exotic Gear will fall, though. He's dead for 100 seconds, essentially, and that could do it in favor of Secret. For King with one right here. I mean, King was still fighting, but with the Aegis, with the Chi still. How do you really win this game with King at the point? The answer is I don't think you do. You really don't. Whatever plan they had against the Chen didn't rampage. work out. Rampage. Give him the rampage. He wants it. He gets it. <laughs> well played by Secret. That styling off him at the very end. And, you know, it, we, were, we were going over this route. We had a little bit of extra time to do so. Obviously with the pause initially. And, yeah. Lacking the stuns, man. It really, it, it almost feels like it does come down to as simple as that for Kingwin. It does, but I feel like they also could have set their lanes up better. Um, the fact that they lost the mid lane so much as they did, you know, the, I mean, again, the Razor did well in terms of farming, obviously, but the fact that he just died so often, um, they basically made every rotation that Chen and SK did, they, like, or rather, a Secret's rotation were always on point, they were always resulting in a kill, and if you play against a Chen-SK,